or hundreds of murders. Homicide is like mental chess, and I'm just waiting for that mistake. As Vince Velasquez and David Quinn, two former APD homicide detectives who are now the stars of a new show on television, uh, one on TV One, it's called ATL Homicide. It's a series based on real cases they solved during their days on the job. Earlier today, I met up with Vince and David to talk about their new show and their days of solving homicides in the ATL. Well, how important is the relationship between partners in trying to solve these cases? It's paramount. The day we got our gold shields, they sent us both to homicide. We knew we were smelling the same stuff, that we had to work together. So from your perspective, what's the most realistic, non-reality cop show? The Wire. The Wire, the wire was exactly what we do. Yeah. So the banter on The Wire was like what we would see in the squad room. Some of the cases... It reminded us of some of the ones we'd actually worked that people are going to see when it hits TV One. You do hold a lot on your shoulders. You do take a lot home with you, and you got to take all that off when you hit the door and you're going to deal with your kids or your loved one, your wife, husband, whomever. Can you guys take me to one of the scenes? Certainly. Is that the person that killed this victim here, 600 Martin Street, he was dubbed a serial killer. So Is this the spot? This is right here. That sign has been she the same right since now. I came out here in 86. She lived right on that last driveway to the right, middle apartment. What's the biggest misperception of police officers and homicide detectives that we, the public, have? It's not cookie cutter. People think that people are reluctant to talk. What we found is that people who live in these neighborhoods that it's, that's crime ridden, there's a homicide that happens, they want these bad guys out of there just as bad as we do. The people in the hood, they want to tell what happened. That's a misperception. That's what people don't understand. I, everyone they tells me, tell. everyone says, no snitch. No it's, one wants to say anything. They don't want to be exposed it's, it's not too snitching. early. You don't put them on blast. That's the one thing, and that's the terminology. Don't put me on blast. I want my neighborhood clean. My mother has to clean houses and get on a bus to go to Buckhead in the morning. I just want peace. Looks like you guys miss it. Of course. Yeah, it's the thrill of the chase. You hear the music, you're going to start dancing. It's your life's work. Real homicide guys are lifers. That's the end of the road. Give me one word to describe what it's like when you solve the case. It is a rush coupled with euphoria. It's a bang, and then it's just like, it's a high. That's a feeling, and I've heard that crack does that same thing to you. This is our crack. <laughs> they are great. Now, Vince and David say they still get calls from time to time from detectives working cases who are looking for a different perspective or approach to the case. Now, their show, ATL Homicide, premieres on Monday, July 9th on TV One.